If I asked you to do research for a blog I'm writing on fine tuning, do you think going to Google, typing in fine tuning, and then just summarizing what it says on Google would be a good basis for a blog? Well, let's say instead you created a list and you wrote down everything you know about fine tuning, then everything that you think you need to do more research on. And let's say after that, you took that list of things you didn't know to relevant platforms and researched in depth all of them and cited them in a report. After that, you take this report to your friend and you say, does this meet the original criteria of what we set out to research? And if not, you go back, you research more until it's complete. Would you say this version of researching would produce better results? Because now with models like O3 and DeepSeek, we can build agents that can research exactly like this to produce much better results. So today I'm gonna to present to you V0 of Deep Researcher. So at a very high level, it's using something called Workforce by Camel AI. And what this basically allows for is one coordinator agent to distribute tasks to specialized agents in different roles with different models. So now we have some sort of understanding, let's go through it step by step. So for my example use case, it's mostly about expanding pieces of information into blog posts, but this could be used for anything. So I've got one entry called content, and this is just basically the content that I want to expand. Then I've got an entry here called need research. So this is sort of understanding how much research it needs, because for example, if you're going to write a blog post on something more simple, you might not need really in-depth research. So we're trying to make it efficient as well. The next part is really important. And these are called ingredients. And these are basically at some sort of level, okay, what needs to be understood to create a good output. And I think this is what a lot of the current searching is missing. And the last part is a recipe. And this is just kind of the end goal of what it's meant to be like. Once you have that input, it's going to be ran. And then the coordinator agent is going to distribute it to our first agent, which is the research planning intelligence agent. And this part of the process was really inspired by ticking all the boxes by Jonathan Cook. We actually did a research event with him where he explained this in depth. If LLMs generate a list of tasks or things they need to do to complete a bigger task, they actually work a lot more effective. And basically to bring this back to our use case, the first agent will take the ingredients. So the things it knows it needs to know to complete the research task, and it'll generate a list. It's gonna say, okay, from the content I already have, do I know this information? Do, do we need to research it more? Is it unsearchable or does it require more input? And the require more input part, that part's not fully working yet. That's more of a human in the loop type deal, which I will integrate later. Why this is so important is because it's understanding what it does know and it doesn't know. It's actually equipped with O3 Mini, which personally I think in this use case works better than DeepSeek. But I'm gonna do a full breakdown of the best models for each process after this. But in short, it reasons what it doesn't understand. And with that reasoning, it can pass this list of things that it needs to research to the next agent. And then what this is, this is the researcher agent. And then from that list, as you see, see, uh, see here, the things that mark as need search, it's gonna do more in-depth research into. So this one's actually equipped with GPT-4.0 because I don't think it really needs high level reasoning. And the tool I'm using is instead of just Google search, I'm actually using something called LinkUp. And the benefit of LinkUp is it actually provides the sources with the answers and you can have some sort of level of how deep you want to look into a task. So when I do improve this, I think a really cool feature would be needs research, deep research or shallow research. So it's kind of defining how much something needs to be looked into. The second part of that is the report making agent or the research results. And then based on the original instructions, it's gonna create a report of, of everything. Okay, then based on that report, we've actually got something inspired by NVIDIA's reward model or maybe just even agent in the loop, 
where we have a agent judge that evaluates the report based on the original instructions. So it's gonna have some sort of criteria as completeness, format, information quality, and it's gonna say, okay, does this need more research or has it passed? If it needs more research, it's gonna go back to the research agent, start the loop again. If not, it's completely ready to go. Okay, so let's run it. Before we go into it, a little bit more depth, why DeepSeek versus O3 is really important for this use case. So all we're gonna do is, okay, so all we're gonna do is Python, copy the path and run it. So as you can see here, it inputs the code. So this, this code is actually a PR from, from Camel, which I'm trying to expand into a blog post. Okay, as you can see here, O3 is doing some de in-depth analysis of what's known. So it can figure out, okay, project contributors from the PR, it's known. From the technology, it says it's known. Integration purpose, known. Document access, known. So it's having some sort of research plan where it's actually gonna do a little bit more in-depth into uh, Quen because the content is about Quen and doing some sort of blog about that. Um, And then from that, it's passing it to the next agent. Okay, as you can see here, okay, as you can see here, link up is passing all the information and it's having some sort of comprehensive study of everything that the first agent wanted to research. Then from here, we're passing it to the report. Okay, then from here, we're Okay, then from here, we're passing it to the report creator agent, which, which is making a report on it. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to the judge. And the reason why the judge is gonna be a little bit slower is because again, the judge is using O3. So it's using some sort of chain of thought to figure out the best possible answer. And then as you can see here, the judge is giving it a pass, giving it some sort of in-depth analysis. After that, we can export the final report. Here it is. And just real quick, before we go over O3 versus DeepSeek, I actually do have a free community, which is just how to air agent on Reddit and X. I'm just gonna be sharing some interesting stuff I've been working on, feel free to do the same. Um, but yeah, going back, if you wanna use DeepSeek instead of O3, it's gonna do a pretty similar result probably O3 is gonna be better. All you do is go to the deep, the O3 code. Just add this and, and sort it out recently and just sort it out better. But my problem with DeepSeek, at least for this use case, is DeepSeek doesn't have very good function calling. And for workforce, it gets a bit buggy if you can't do function call calling, and then also for these tools, it's not the best if, if you can't do function calling very well. And this is the same with a lot of the open source models. So feel free to play around with it. I'd really like to use Quen. I'd really like to use uh, DeepSeek as well. But for my tests, O3 with GPT-4, O, have just worked a lot better. As for the future direction of this project, it's just a small personal thing. I wanna keep working on it, making it better. But I think it can be the start of something much bigger. Um, right now, if the, okay, right now, if I keep improving this and the agents can fully understand what they don't know and how to research the information they don't know, they can get infinitely smarter. And I think this has some real potential in some sort of self-learning system. This project's fully open source, so feel free to clone it, add any suggestions, anything like that. Okay, basically here are just a few things that I think would make it a lot more advanced. I want it to have some sort of adaptive tool search. So yep, link up's good for like Google and search results, but maybe um, the O3 model could reason, okay, searching through YouTube would be better. Searching through Google Scholar, X. Um, I really want it to understand which form of research is gonna do better for its use case. The second thing is having a, a better uh, judging criteria. This is just something I generated with ChatGPT quickly, but I actually wanna look into, okay, what produces better results? The next part is going on to open source. I feel like I can make open source support a lot better, test it out, see if we can improve the function calling or at least use some open source models that do better with function, uh, function calling. The last part is research optimization. So we did actually see this a little bit with LinkUp, 
but I want to apply this to O3 as well because actually they can support reasoning effort. So dependent on the research task, I want the system to fully adapt to, okay, does this need high effort? Does this even need O3? Does this need high level research? Could this be done with one agent? I think when it's fully adaptive and it doesn't have to go through these really strong research processes every time, it's going to be a really advanced system. Thank you. I've been Omni Giorgio. Goodbye.